Hello students, today I am showing the dissection of dura matter. Now here you can see that we have removed the skull cap, so you can see the cut margin clear. Now this is the dura matter which you can see outside. Now it is a tough layer. Now if you see this, this is a tough layer clear. So now we will cut this tough dura matter and deep to that dura you are able to see the brain. So for that what we have to do is, first we have to start from this anterior angle. So what we will do is, I will make a vertical incision like this on this dura and along with that I have to make a horizontal incision like this. Now once you will make this L shape incision, you have to just do very slight and with the light hand you have to just cut the dura. Now you can see that I am cutting the dura only and along with that you can make your this horizontal incision also. You have to take this horizontal incision back side. Now once you will do this you are able to see now this brain is visible here but here now you can see one more layer now this is the layer which is visible below the dura now this is the white color layer now this is the arachnoid matter now this is the arachnoid matter and this below the arachnoid matter you are able to see the brain tissue and this brain tissue is basically covered by the pia matter so now first what we will do is we will remove the whole dura now there is one more important thing is once you are going towards the dura you will find these blood vessels so you can see this blood vessel now these blood vessels are the vessels which are making the impression on the skull bone so when you will see the cap from inner side you will find that there are multiple impressions of the blood vessels are visible so here you can see that blood vessels are visible outside the dura that means it is a extra dural space clear so once you will remove the dura you will go into the subdural space so this this is extra dural and this is the subdural area clear so here you are able to see this vessel it is in the extra dural space now when you will go more posteriorly when i am cutting this you will go posteriorly now here also if you will go now we have removed the half of the dura from this side clear now we'll do the same thing on the opposite side also so we'll start our same incision from this anterior end we'll make a l shape incision in the same way and then again in the same manner you are going to cut in two half now why we, i am not cutting the whole dura as a single layer because you know that there is a midline invagination of the dura which is known as fox cerebri so that fox cerebri is here so if you will remove this, the falx is visible on this side. So because it is a invagination, it is going like this. I cannot cut and cannot take out as a single layer. For that I have to first remove this attachment of the falx cerebri that is on the uh, this crista galli and on the frontal crest. Clear? So that's why you are removing this dura in the two half. One is on the right side and another is on the left side. So we have removed the left side already. Now I am cutting this and I am removing this on the left side. Uh, on the right side now once you will cut this dura you have to be little bit conscious that you should not damage the underlying brain tissue so your hand should be very gentle and the blade which we are using should be the sharp enough it should not be the blunt blade otherwise you have to give lots of the force to cut this tough structure you can see it is a very tough and thick structure so now we have cut both the side of the dura and now we will remaining with this band of the dura. Now this band is actually invaginating inside. So you can see on both the side it is going deep here also and it is going deep on this side also. So what we will do is now we will just tra track it anteriorly and anteriorly when I will trace now you will find that it is attached here. So what, for that what I will do is I will pass this tip of the scalpel and just make a gentle cut so that this will come out. Now here you can see that this is a sharp inferior border of this false cerebri and this is the sinus which you can see here. Now this is the blue color sinus. You can see this blue color is visible here in this upper part of the fold which is known as superior sagittal sinus. Now if you will take out this, now here in the middle you will see the median cerebral uh, fissure. Now this fissure is there and this fissure is occupied by your this fold of the dura matter. Clear? So now the next part is that we have to take out this brain. So for that what you have to do is you have to go deep inside 
and you will find that there is a connection of the optic tract on the base. So, dear students, for that I have to go a little bit deep and it's a kind of blind dissection because you have to feel it with your tip of the finger and where it is. And you have to just gently cut all the structures which are connected with the base of the brain. So, it's a kind of the blind dissection when we are doing this cutting of the optic tract. So, it should be very cautious and it will come with the multiple time of dissections and the practice. Now, the second thing is that you have to take out the cerebellum and we know that cerebellum is below the tentorial fold. So, that is again a blind dissection because you have to make a cut on the superior part of the tentorium cerebelli. So, I am passing my finger on this side and along with the side I am passing this scalpel tip. Now, I will feel the notch, tentorial notch first and I will place this tip on the tentorial notch and then I will take the incision towards the lateral side of the skull. Now, that will cut your tentorium cerebelli and once you will make this shot that you have make an incision on the roof of the tentorium cerebelli, you can feel that incision with your finger. Clear? On the opposite side also, you have to do the same thing. You have to just lift the temporal lobe with your finger and you just again palpate that notch and you have to make an incision again on the superior part of the tentorium cerebelli which starts from the notch. Clear? And once you will done this incision, you will feel that now the tentorium has already been cut. Now what is the next part is that you have to take out the brain. So you have to remove the connection of the brain stem with the spinal cord. Otherwise you cannot pull the brain out. What will happen? The brain will come in the fragments if you will pull it forcefully. So now what I will do is I will pass the tip of my scalpel into the vertebral canal and I will make a as deep as possible I will make a cut. So I am passing this tip into the vertebral canal. You have to feel the vertebral canal again with your finger and it is again a blind dissection where you have to place this and you have to cut. Now once you will make a cut, now this is the important thing which you always keep in mind and then you will remove this all the dura matter connections with the brain. So I am removing the posterior part of the dura and here you will have the inner horizontal fissure and that is known as tentorium cerebelli. So you have to remove this portion also. You have to take out the tentorium cerebelli, otherwise the brain will not come out. So once we have done this, now here you can see that this is the occipital lobe, clear? Now these are the occipital lobe which are present on both the side. So now what we will do is, I have removed this false cerebri posteriorly and now we will try to pull the brain, we will try to take out the brain without damaging. So for that you have to be very gentle enough. Again pe, in this point I have make a cut and now I will take out this as a whole single brain. So now this is the important thing which you have to understand that when we are dissecting or we are talking about how the brain should take out, what are the important things which you have to understand that first again I will show you that you have once we will remove this bony cap, you have to cut this into the two half, keep it in the center part, then you have to cut this connection of the anterior end of the fold and then you have to make these two blind cuts. Now see this, these are the very important blind cuts because below this cut you will have the cerebellum. So if you will not open this infratentorial fossa, then how will you take it out? Otherwise what will happen? The brain will break, the cerebellum will remain here, you will take out only the cerebrum. So if you want to take out the cerebellum with the cerebrum, you have to make these two blind cuts on the tentorium cerebelli. Then you will have to cut this part of the connection of brain stem with the spinal cord. So in, in such a way, we will have this whole brain outside and you can see now that it, there is no breakage except some portion of the lower part of the medulla oblongata has been damaged because the cut is not properly placed. If you will take your scalpel more deep into the foramen and you can palpate even the margin of foramen magnum, then you may have the whole length of the medulla. Clear? Otherwise, the, most of the portion of the brain is preserved here. Now you can see that these are the two cerebellum 
cerebellar hemisphere this is the fissure where you will have the tentorium cerebelli this is the median fissure where you will have the false cerebrae clear so this is what about the removal of the brain from the skull so this is all for today's session thank you